George Malcolm Thompson's biography, The First Churchill, The Life of John, First Duke of Marlborough, delves into the captivating life of one of Britain's most influential military leaders. Through meticulous research and a nuanced writing style, Thompson presents a comprehensive analysis of Marlborough's character, accomplishments, and impact on British history. Thompson begins the biography by establishing Marlborough's family background and early years, highlighting the factors that shaped his character and ambition. By examining his upbringing and education, Thompson paints a vivid picture of Marlborough's determination and resilience. The author emphasizes how Marlborough's exposure to military strategy and political maneuvering at an early age laid the foundation for his later successes on the battlefield and in politics. Throughout the book, Thompson expertly intertwines the personal and political aspects of Marlborough's life, offering a multifaceted exploration of his character. Thompson presents Marlborough as a complex figure, capable of both ruthless ambition and genuine loyalty. The author delves into the intricate web of alliances and rivalries that characterized Marlborough's relationships with other key figures, revealing the delicate balance of power that influenced his decisions. One of the book's central strengths is its detailed analysis of Marlborough's military campaigns. Thompson's vivid descriptions of battles and strategic maneuvers immerse the reader in the intensity and chaos of warfare. The author not only focuses on Marlborough's victories but also examines his setbacks and the lessons he learned from them. Through this approach, Thompson presents Marlborough as a military leader who constantly adapted his tactics and demonstrated exceptional foresight. Thompson also offers valuable insights into the political landscape of Marlborough's time, illuminating the intricate power struggles and alliances that shaped European politics. The author explores Marlborough's role in negotiating political alliances and influencing key decisions, showcasing his astute diplomatic skills alongside his military prowess. Thompson's analysis of Marlborough's contributions to the Grand Alliance against Louis XIV of France provides a compelling examination of the intersection between military and political strategy. Moreover, Thompson examines Marlborough's legacy and impact on British history. The author discusses how Marlborough's military successes influenced subsequent generations of military leaders, shaping the British approach to warfare for decades to come. Thompson also delves into Marlborough's architectural achievements, such as the magnificent Blenheim Palace, highlighting his cultural and artistic contributions as well. The First Churchill is a meticulously researched and engaging biography that offers a comprehensive analysis of John Churchill's life and impact. Thompson's balanced portrayal of Marlborough's character, his military strategies, and his political maneuvering creates a compelling narrative that captivates the reader. By shedding light on Marlborough's achievements and complexities, Thompson successfully portrays him as a multifaceted historical figure whose influence extended far beyond the battlefield. In conclusion, George Malcolm Thompson's The First Churchill, The Life of John, First Duke of Marlborough, is a masterful biography that provides a comprehensive analysis of Marlborough's life and legacy. Through meticulous research and a nuanced writing style, Thompson brings to life the complexities of Marlborough's character, his military successes, and his political endeavors. This biography stands as a captivating exploration of one of Britain's most influential figures and his lasting impact on British history.